Bailey Zimmerman has quite the unconventional story. He has quickly become an artist to watch in today's country music landscape, already breaking records within his first couple of years. That's when I lost it. In this video, we're going to explore how Zimmerman went from being a pipeliner to a musical sensation. Before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video to keep up with all future country music news and entertainment. Zimmerman's story begins in rural Illinois. His family owned a trucking business where he learned a sense of what hard work looks like. He told Billboard, My grandpa owned a car shop, my brother owns a metal shop, and my dad owns a towing and salvage yard. We just loved creating in our own ways. Growing up, he would sing occasionally around the house. His mom would tell him that he had a nice voice, but he always blew it off as just his mom being kind. Zimmerman never focused on his talent, but would sing around friends on the local basketball courts from time to time. One song he would sing was Hurricane by Luke Combs. Even when people would say that he had something special, he never really took it seriously. Zimmerman graduated high school and knew he wasn't the best student. The singer actually hated school, failing math classes along the way. His love of cars and trucks made him briefly think about having a racing career, but he knew that would be a long road. He loved sports, but also knew that there was no real future for him as an athlete. He realized that he would make good money in a pipeline union, so that's where he decided to go. The singer has amassed a huge social media following, and it actually started out with trucks. Zimmerman would work on and restore trucks and post videos on TikTok. During this time, he got hooked on watching TV shows about trucks and learned there were exhibitions he could attend. I wanted to win trophies, he told Bobby Bones on his podcast. Took it from just like building trucks and posting it. It's like, oh, I think I'm going to start going to these shows and maybe get some, you know, try to win trophies. At this time in 2019, Zimmerman has been looking for a way out of the pipeline industry. Being away from family and friends for long periods of time made him grow tired of his job choice. He originally wanted to work on trucks and build other people's trucks as a profession. After a few days of working in the shop with his brother John, Zimmerman decided to start singing. He told Bobby Bones, This dude named Gavin Lucas in the town I'm from was like, Hey man, I think you have a cool voice. I write songs and play guitar. So would you want to hang out sometime? There probably aren't a lot of stories like Zimmerman's. We see artists talk about knowing from the time that they were children that they had a passion for music. However, those with natural talent seem to find their way into the music business. All it took was a few jam sessions with his friend that made Zimmerman think about a new path. Lucas would write songs while playing the guitar, which amazed Zimmerman. One night, the two sat down with the intention of writing a song together. That song went on to become what was Zimmerman's first single, Never Coming Home. Close that door on me and I never coming home. They posted the song on TikTok, which garnered around 2 million views by the time Zimmerman woke up the next morning. He then officially quit the Pipeline Union to pursue his dreams of becoming a singer. This lightning in a bottle story was just getting started. Zimmerman and Lucas then drove four hours to Nashville to a home recording studio to properly record Never Coming Home. Still learning how the business works, Zimmerman put the song out on DistroKid. The song grew to be a streaming success. He would frequently ask family and friends how to gauge how well the song was doing. I had no clue what I was doing. I thought my management was a label when I first signed with them, he told Bobby Bones. Within two months of releasing Never Coming Home, Zimmerman signed a record deal with Warner Music Nashville and found himself a manager through an Instagram DM. He said how he hasn't written many songs and was new to music. He did have a vision for the kind of music he wanted to make and would always be authentically himself. Something he said must have worked. Zimmerman began working on new music. His friend Lucas signed a publishing deal with Warner Chapel after Zimmerman pleaded with him to quit his day job. The duo went on to write and release two special songs, Fall in Love and A Rock in a Hard Place. Fall in Love became the fastest debut single to reach number one for a country artist. Just three months and three weeks after Rock in a Hard Place went to number one faster than the previous single did. Billboard reports that this was the quickest span for any act's first two songs in 25 years to climb the charts. Rock in a Hard Place also just spent its sixth week atop the country airplay chart. Zimmerman released his debut EP, Leave the Light On, in October 2022. The project went on to become the highest streamed all-genre debut of the year and the biggest streaming country debut to date. Zimmerman went on to make his Grand Ole Opry debut in November of last year and was set to open on the Morgan Wallen one night at a time tour before it was postponed. His debut full-length record, Religiously, is out now anywhere you can listen to music. Now I'm in 
Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed and let us know if there are any other rising country stars you want us to explore in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss the latest country music news and entertainment.